So to solve this question, there's just one concept we really need to understand, and that is that an average of a set of numbers is that special point from which the deviations above exactly cancel out with the deviations below. And if we understand that concept, then this question doesn't even require pen and paper. Because the question wants to know how many of the numbers in this set are equal to the average of the set. But then statement one tells us that none of the numbers are below the average. It wouldn't make sense, like the deviations above and below wouldn't cancel out if you only have deviations on one side of the average. Uh, and then the same thing with statement two. Statement two says that none of the numbers are above the average. Well, again, if none of the numbers are above the average, none will be below the average either. In other words, each statement on its own implies that all six numbers are equal to 75, and therefore the correct answer here is D. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.